Hi guys and welcome. In this video, I'm making a brooder for my broiler chicks. Here I have plywood I'll be using to make the brooder. As you can see, I marked in black wire to cut to obtain four pieces out of this plywood to make a rectangular brooder and that is 180 centimeters by 120 centimeters in length. So here I had the plywood cut using a back saw with the help of another person because I tried doing it myself and failed to even move that saw the right way to cut the plywood. It requires a bit of some skills to cut this and get the right length you need. Eventually, these are the four pieces of plywood I wanted in the right length and ready to put together. After putting the four pieces of plywood together, I pour the wood shavings on the ground to cover the concrete floor and this will be the bedding for my chicks for a period of two weeks of brooding. Make sure the entire floor is well covered with the wood shaving. This will act as a barrier between the chicks and the cold concrete floor. Since this is a brooder and the purpose of a brooder is to ensure the safety of chicks, it's important to cover the wood shaving with something. It can either be papers or card box or even sacks as I'm using here. The purpose of covering this wood shaving is to prevent chicks from eating it and eventually choke on it and die. These chicks do not know what to eat yet because they are young and of course have no mother hen to teach them what to eat and what not to eat. So when the entire wood shaving is covered with sacks, it's only their food and water that will be available to them to eat and drink.
A brooder should have a source of heat to keep the cheeks warm till their feathers grow out well covering the entire body, whereby they can keep themselves warm without the help of external heat. There are many ways of providing heat. It can be by using charcoal, briquettes, or an electric heater. For my case, I'll be using a coil connected to electricity. Stones are added inside there to heat up and provide extra heat in the entire brooder. Now this shouldn't be too hot for them or even too low for them. It should be moderate. As you can see here in this picture, the dark dots represent cheeks, the red small circles represent the heat source, and the big black circles represent the brooder. So this brooder being pointed by the arrows indicates that the temperature is too low for the cheeks and that's why they are too close to the heat source which is something we do not want for them. The next brooder as indicated by the arrows show that the temperature is too high and that's why the chicks are a distance away from the heat source, meaning that the temperature should be reduced. And finally, in the last brooder, as indicated by the arrows, show that the chicks are in their comfort zone, meaning that the temperature is suitable for them. And that's why they are evenly distributed throughout the brooder. Mm -hmm.